Welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I want to show you how to upload custom draft files because I'm just at that stage in the franchise series where I will be uploading a uh, custom draft file. How do you do that? Well, you go over here to Creation Center, then you move over to Share uh, Manage Files, go to the Download Community Files, and uh, then you wait for the thing to load, which depends on your connection, of course. <clears throat> As you move over to the draft class, you get the options. And of course, it's going to be sorted by the uh, number of downloads, which is usually the first one that is uploaded is the one that is just <laughs> most of the time the one um, that uh, that most people will have downloaded. As you can see, the date is 8.15. Uh, 8.19 has the top NBA 2K drafts past six years, 20 million, whatever that means. Um, created rosters will have seven rounds of real players. So Jack Move is working hard on this, as it seems. Um, we've got this dude here based on the PFF draft board completed through round three up dated 818. Um, I think we're going to be choosing this one here uh, because I feel like it is the one that is getting the most quality. So let's download this file here. Also, um, just as a tip, try to look for uh, creators that are creating multiple draft classes because these usually work well together, such as this one and the 2025 one. But of course, um, the 2025 one is further away. All right, so this is basically all you have to do here. Um, you now have the file downloaded, um, which is down here in the downloads folder. And the next step is to enter. Yeah, all right, thank you for the tip. <laughs> the next one uh, that you will have to choose is uh, to go to the uh, franchise series and just uh, yeah load the file from there. I will show you how to do that in a second. All right, so the question is, how do you use the draft file here? Well, it's quite easy, actually. You go to choose draft class, which is going to pop up in week one. You click it and then you can choose here uh, between uh, the uh, different methods. You can keep the auto generated rookie download from Manchak directly or import a local file, which is what we're going to do. Click local file and then it will show you the ones that you have downloaded. Just click this one, import. And boom, there you go. You also see the uh, prospect highlights loaded in and uh, the stuff that you can reveal. So basically, these are the players that have been built already uh, in the draft class. Um, and as, he, as the uh, creator stated, he's not very far yet. Uh, there's still quite a few missing, but it seems like he's uh, not filling uh, this with uh, um, uh, random players but that is rather using real players and sort of building the rounds uh, as as he comes along. So this is actually a nice, um, let's skip this. There's also another uh, way to, to, to uh, upload. Basically what you do is uh, when you choose your scouting focus, basically I just wanna enter the scouting section or the uh, draft section. Uh, then you go to prospects, click prospects, and down below, you can see Edit Players, which is the L3 button. You click that, then you have the same options again. Basically works the same way. You just import the file. There we go. Yes, boom, it uploads. And that's that. So there we go. This is the way you upload uh, custom draft files. And uh, it's just a way to go with franchise, in my opinion. It's the only one that really makes sense. It's a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoy this. Uh, if you've got any questions, just drop them down below be happy to answer these as always thank you so much for watching guys and see you next time